I'm prepping the tee for paint, completely disassembling it. And uh, I've taken it to a few shows, uh, NSRA, Knoxville, Good Guys in Nashville, and a couple other cruise-ins and Cars and Coffee. And one of the things I get asked about a lot is my steering system. And uh, I did this a long time ago uh, before I had my 5-axis Matsura, before I had my Bridgeport, even before I had a decent drill press. And this is the only Japanese part, car part, that is uh, on the T. Uh, you could spend a lot of money on a steering box for your hot rod. Uh, this you could probably pick up at your pull apart for whatever manual steering box goes for. This is out of a Nissan hard body. And so on the truck, it's mounted like this. On the T, it's a little different. On the truck, the steering shaft input is here, and I just realized that I need to put a plug on here and put some oil in it. I've been driving it without it. Anyway, so this, this shaft is reversed. I reversed this. So the input side of this was here, and I just simply drilled this out and put the shaft in backwards, and now it turns backwards. Here's my homemade steering wheel, which isn't quite round, and it mounts directly to this steering box. And so the Nissan Pitman arm, what's left of it, is right here. I cut it off, and I welded a three-quarter inch nut to the nut that holds the Pitman arm. This is a piece of inch and a half tubing. It's welded to the Pitman arm, and then here is my steering arm that I made. I did this with an inch and a half hole saw. And then I used a 3 8 inch drill bit to drill these holes. And so this just goes on here like so. And the pins all engage each other. And then a 3 quarter inch bolt goes through the middle of it and pulls that tight against that bolt or that nut. So I've kind of got two methods of securing this tube all together. And that's it. Dirt, cheap, simple steering system.